Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the dojo! Right here at Rage Slate Time, Jeff. I'm Chris. And Chris, today we're playing Press Any Button to Continue. Oh, well, I'm this like, game is famous for yeah. that point. It's I've, really hard. I've heard about it for years. Are you sure it's any button? Is it's, this a trick? I don't know. I, I don't mean, know. What if you like, press the wrong button? I'm going to press a button. Oh, I'm going to do it. Are you sure? I'm doing it. Are you sure? Oh, no, we're actually oh, okay. playing Cloud we Punk. So. Okay. Um, yes, we're playing Cloud Punk, which I believe came out last year, at least on like consoles. Um, I don't know if there was like a PC version before so that. Is this a port of the old PC Blade Runner game? I don't <laughs> believe so. Oh, damn. That is the thing that's happening now. Have you seen that? Oh, the the Westwood one. Yeah, yeah they're remastering yeah, they're like, the original mm -hmm. one. I'm like, oh, that's exciting because oh, I used to uh, love that game. Uh, oh, see, uh, it looks like it though, right? Uh, uh, how to drive? Okay, accelerate. Well, actually, it's steer more left, steer left, right, here, ascend, descend. Yeah. Uh, you got that Corbin Dallas multipass going on. Okay, multi all right. Super uh, green. Control. Sorry, you made a mistake saying that, Jeff, because now I'm just going to quote Fifth Element endlessly. <laughs> I'm one of those weirdos who just loves that fucking movie. <laughs> oh, no. The, what's not to love about uh, Fifth Element? Dude, some people really hate it with a passion. Really? Yeah, I remember back on when on Spill, uh, Corey and Martin, they hated it so much. Really? Like, fiery passion. I was just wow. like, I don't get you guys, man. This this movie is just glorious insanity. <laughs> Oh, shit. Sector 6 crashed last week. Oh, boy. What is this? This is the highway? All right. So far, I like this. I mean, it's a little obviously, you know, it, it's cool. In, I like the way that it's envisioned in terms of the design, but it's obviously primitive graphics. Right, right. Uh, voxels, maybe. Maybe. Maybe voxels. What is voxels? Voxels are where they have, like, uh, it's a pixel, but it's three-dimensional. So, like, whenever you play a game, it's like... It looks like, like Minecraft. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of kind of, kind of voxels a little bit. Car lifts? Okay. Uh, so I, I did, so, in fact, hear pretty good things about this game from people. So I'm curious to know what we're going to think about it. Uh, well, you know, I think that the, the, the benefit here, right, is that... I'm super, super good at driving in video games, so <laughs> this is obviously going to be a really, really good... Oh, wait, was I uh, not supposed to laugh? You weren't supposed to laugh at that. You are supposed Sorry. to say, like, I know, Jeff, I've never seen anyone who drives as good as you drive <laughs> in video games. My problem is I always, I always drive with a map. I don't ever like to look at the at the screen. Wait, yeah, oh, I'm always doing the same uh, thing. Shit, I need to exit the freeway. You have to Can pick I, up payload at Cloud Punk HQ. Okay, let's go to Cloud... I, oh, psh, Boop, the, excuse Maybe me. Just just bump into any pixels. Um, um, no. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. All right. Does no. your insurance cover bump, bumping into pixels? I think uh, mine does. I don't okay. know if yours does. No, it's not covered I because that, I can drive. I got that old pixel care. Uh, I don't bump into pixels. Uh, oh, so, ooh, look at me. I'm Chris. I'm super good at flying future cars. Oh, no, I just meant I will never watch that movie Pixels with Adam Sandler. Oh, ever okay. Again okay. It's fucking awful. Uh, gang member. What? What's okay? Maybe you, it's just find a place to park your yeah. vehicle. So, uh, so it wants me to go right in there. there right? Wants me to go in this yeah. little boom, 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 boom. Okay, there uh, you go. Okay. Park. No, did I do? Okay, wait, hold on. And then I go down. Well, there's a bunch of boxes. Did I park, or am I supposed to go like on top of? Can you just park on the ground? Like maybe. If you land, can you just land? No. Find a place to park your vehicle. Oh wait, the 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 thing has a P. <laughs> um, oh wow! And there's like okay. a P over here. So so it couldn't be excuse any me. More, it couldn't be any more obvious yep. except to us. So. Park vehicle, and there's like a whole button just to do it. So now we get to see what. what oh. Is it? oh, it's like Lego. Oh okay. okay. All right. Switch to third person view. X. Uh, I thought we were in a third person view. Oh my God, they're like Roblox. Yeah, like I said, it's Lego. Oh boy. That lady. I didn't actually expect them to be zoom in to enter first person view. Do you want to do that? Zoom in. Okay, here we go. Now I'm playing Cyberpunk 27. Wait, hold on. This is <laughs> Cyber Cloudpunk. If, if Cyberpunk 2077 had come out 20 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where am I supposed to go? Go to Cloudpunk HQ. Is that that's where I thought I was? Here? That's not in there. That's like some kind of storage room. I don't uh, know why it's got a force shield that is not a force shield. Is it over? Oh, that's like a wall. I presume that. Wait, there were stairs right there, weren't there? Were there? 
I need to go into. So I need to go were? into this building. Where'd I just you, don't know how. No, they weren't stairs. Never mind. I thought they were. It's all Lego, so everything looks like stairs. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, this is kind of making me ill. I'm going to go back yeah. to third person. Me too. I was feeling a little nauseous. Uh, how about this door? Is this a door? Can I go in there? No. Do you have to move the dumpster? Can I jump? Can you break stuff? That's a good. All of these are questions. What's oh? Wait, there's a door there. Isn't that a door? Yeah, but that's not the building I need to go into. I well, need to go it's into another building. I need to go. go I need to go in here. This has got to be Cloud right, Punk HQ. That, the, Pick a, up payload. There we go. I just uh, wasn't okay. at the right place. Okay. 14 FC. Oh. This is going to the marrow. Oh, I don't want to go to the. That sounds. It's in the bone, in Jeff. I'll give you a on your Wait, can I drive from first person? Be careful down there. No. It's busy. Also, with your driving exactly. skills, oh, I think shit. that's not a good idea. I think it's a great idea. Case in point. Wait, okay. I'm trying to make the car go up. Go up, car, but it's just controlling the camera. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. No cars go. Oh. Control's getting a little old to be doing this job. <laughs> oh, Life Corp. It's like Chris Christopherson from Blade over here. Yeah, Blade. <laughs> uh, can I just like, go around this sign? I'm just gonna. By the way, I just rewatched Blade recently on um, because they put it on 4K, and Chris Christopherson kind of decidedly dies in it. Uh huh. I, I need to rewatch Blade too. But do you remember how they brought him back to life? Because it was bothering me trying to remember. Because I'm yes. like, he's in the second one. We're like, how? Yeah. How are you in the second? One? It's the opening scene of Blade Two. It turns out that the vampires were like keeping him alive, and they like turned him into a, a vamp. Or, or, like, not a full vamp. He was, like, a familiar yeah, or something. he took his own life in the first one. I don't... So, to, so it's not to become a vampire. I, they did it anyway. Like, the whole opening okay. scene is him rescuing him from some kind of, like, weird cyber pod thing. Right, now. Okay, that's sounding uh, familiar now. And I like Blade 2. It's just been a while since I've seen it. I remember actually liking it in some ways better than Blade Run 1. I like... Oh, oh, okay. This is a little rough for an Xbox. We're on the Series X over here. Um... I like all of them. I like Blade 3. I do not it's like It's so Blade stupid. I love Blade. I love how dumb. Oh. But I am anxious to see what they're doing with the new Blade thing with Maharha, Maharha, oh. Maharshala, I, I think I'm saying that right, Ali, uh, playing Blade. And the what seems clear is that this will be tied in, will officially incorporate the original Blade films because... They're, they're trying to act like we never said that, but there also seems like Wesley Snipes is saying, no, this is happening, that his character will be in it. So this is like Son of Blade or some shit. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it'd be a huge mistake. Why not integrate the original films into it? It's you know? the marrow. Sorry, I don't know why we're talking about Blade. <laughs> playing, uh, other than Blade Runner. <laughs> did, I, did I do it? Oh, okay. All right. That I, was really terribly done, Jeff. I just I want to say for the record. Hey, man, I'm just uh, trying to get. It was weird watching you do it. Just you, trying to, just trying to go places. Bumping into stuff. And yeah. the game's like, fine, you're there. Don't worry about it. That's true. Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh. Now we're getting fifth element. Fucking, uh, I feel like uh, uh, Anakin and Obi Wan are gonna jump down and grab my car at any minute now. Don't, don't, don't bring that into it, Jeff. No, no. no. What's, what's wrong with Luke? They leave a bad. Dog. I was enjoying oh, so Fifth Element and, oh. and Blade Runner, and you have to sully it with the prequels. <laughs> Jesus. Oh yeah. Ooh, Mr. Ritzy Ritzerson. <laughs> uh, I don't want people in cabs looking in my window. Find a place to park your vehicle. So there's a lot of talking in this game. I think. I mean, I think that's the whole point. Is that it's like a narrative. It's like kind of like a. No wait. How do I? There's got to be a place to park. I mean, I'm curious to know what the okay, conflict a, uh, is going to be. I mean, this can't be just a delivery game, right? Well, while we were while you were talking about Blade, they were uh, <laughs> they had a thing where the, the the guy was like, "Never fucking look in the package," right? So, right. Um, I'm curious to know if it's going to be a thing where we like, "Oh well, God, you looked I looked in the package. I looked at the package, and then you're on the run." I looked at the package, Ray. Um, <laughs> or what's in the box? Pick your own yeah. movie reference. A package also thing makes me think of other things. So, well, yeah, you gotta look at the package. I'm not looking at your package, Jeff. Somebody put, flash the OK sign at you, or, or the that little what's that thing where the, the like, racist OK thing? No, 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 no. Where like it's like upside down, and you put it like it's 
And then if Fantastic. somebody looks at it, you get to punch them in the dick or something? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Jeff, and I want somebody to does, sure but. Whole life to give this to me. Irwin. I thought it would be in cash. Limbs. But my neighbor said they'd probably leave me pressed gold. Pressed that gold? Way, you don't pay so much city I mean, I really, this is making me wish there was a Lego Blade Runner game. Sure. Uh-huh. <laughs> Who is Cora? It's just an expression. You want to see what's inside? No, don't do it! The answer is always no. Tip of its limbs. Not every day you see someone become rich in front of your eyes, right? Don't trust this weasel! Just think. I can finally get the eye surgery I need. Don't. <laughs> Two augments. No expense. Don't do it, uh, main character. Why is she not facing him? Because I think it's just because I walked up the wrong way. Let's see. Just rip here and... Skabloosh! Skabloosh? What is it? Gold? It's... Old toys. Oh, like G.I. Joe guys? Oh, or that's a worth a fortune. Ninja Turtles? CBM. Can you imagine at this point in the future how much those would actually be worth, though? <laughs> <laughs> worth, oh, probably about 50 cents. Yeah. Yeah. Why did they send these? I constantly wonder about, because I'm old, all the shit I have in my collection mm-hmm. of various yeah. things, of what it, video games, comics, action figures. I never look into what something might be worth, like, ever. And I'm curious. I might have something in my collection that's worth a fortune, and I have no idea. Yeah. I have no idea. Like, I mean, I feel like I should find out because I'm not having kids. <laughs> Spend that shit now, man. Yeah. And my wife, if I died, probably just like yard sale. Yeah. <laughs> so. Get rid of it. We can start sending you money for the operations. Okay. More than enough money. Just hold on, honey. Everything's going to be okay. Sorry. I should go. Okay, wow. I missed the first yeah. part. Uh, Sorry, I was just babbling. So. About like he thought he was gonna get rich, but then it turns out it was just a bunch of old, his old toys. So and, what now? Uh, now I think we can go get back into. We're like a cab driver, you oh, know. God, we gotta on. multi-pass this shit, man. Are they, are they gonna crazy taxi this? Uh, who's this? Trixie Dio. Talk to talk oh, to her. Oh Jeff. wait, hold on. Control is calling. Good job, kid. I looked into your profile. It says. You came from the Eastern Peninsula. Uh huh. It's nice there. What made you want to come slumming with us in the Valis? Isn't that like a hand cream? <laughs> it sounds like it. Nivalis. Bring yourself to paradise. It's like trying to paint on the surface of a river. The current of people, the ideas, and the crowds, they wash everything. You see that, like, uh, what hydrostatic stuff, those patterns where they put, like, the pattern in water and then put something in there and pull it out and it's got like the pattern like all wrapped around it. Yeah. That stuff is cool. <laughs> What's the job? That's this. You're, you're Chris Farley over here all of a sudden. That was awesome. <laughs> that, well, it's, you know, that's painting on water. This guy is all talking about painting on water. It's, it's, you're not going to talk to any of those guys? No. Come on, go talk to those guys, Jeff. I don't think we have time for that. I want to get to Jeff, the, talk to those guys. I want to get to the point. Okay. Okay, control. On my way. So we're going to the merchant place. We're picking up a payload from the warehouse. Here, fine. I'll talk to Trixie Dio. Try the okonomiyaki. What? Isn't that a pancake? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. Now it's I'm hungry. Place. God damn it. Oh, it's to die for. Ooh, actually, does it have bonito flakes? flakes that actually sounds like it might not be Would too terrible. Like to on my food review channel? It's on all the nets. No, well, that's all right. We already are doing a podcast, so. Can you pretend to be sick on cam? Uh, no. There's a free meal in it for you. I do actually officially like a food show now, and I never watch food shows. Mm-hmm. Hot ones. Oh. Good. It's so good. It's so good. I'm, I'm more of a binging with Babish. Uh, I don't know, even know what that is, but Hot guy. Ones is awesome. Uh, also proving that Kristen Bell's the ultimate badass yet again is they get to the hottest hot sauce, and her response is, yeah, that's kind of spicy. <laughs> binging with Babish does, um, uh, they, he like makes food from movies, like... They'll oh, be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. here's like the cannolis from here's Godfather, you know. And, right, and right. But do they do genre stuff, like made up foods? Uh, he he does a lot of like crazy shit. Um, they wait. do like, here's Gah from Star Trek. Not that, but. Uh, well, fuck that then. How can I help you today, Mr. Rania? I'm not a mister. Update my profile, please. Profile changes are locked in the trial generic. <laughs> oh, God damn it. To upgrade to my limited offer monthly. Subscription. No, really primitive AI for the future. How much to replace you with an existing AI? Do you have a hard copy of the AI on storage media? Uh, 
<laughs> what a wonderful driver you are, Jeff. Why are you under the city? I'm right just waiting now? for this like dialogue to complete. Transfer. Is she put? Insert storage media. Transfer in process. Like I said, there's an awful Concept lot of dialogue in this game. Will be activated in Not that that's necessarily a problem. I'm just saying Would it's a lot. Like to deactivate the generic automata personality now? Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the impression that I got from this was that it was going to be kind of like, I, there's a few other games I feel like, even some that came out last year, that were like, yes. like kind of a visual novel mixed with like a driving sim kind of thing. Good day, Mr. Um, so you feel like that's what we're going after here? I think so. I mean, like, I don't think there's ever going to be a point where we're like shooting at people or, or anything that I think the driving is going to be the main thing. Because I feel like they, they're trying to do that thing where like the driving is light enough that you can then pay attention to the story in between. Right. It's, uh, something, it's something to focus on while you're driving. Right, right. Uh -oh. This is a game basically for people who like to listen to audio books on their, on their commute to work. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, was I, what was I just to, oh, I was gonna say like Babish, he did like, um, like the Brood Witch from Aqua Teen Hunger Force or, um, you know, like he's done some stuff where it's, it's like, uh, um, you do Aqua Dean Hunger Force and you don't do Star Trek? What the fuck? Well, God isn't a real thing. It's... Neither is the Brood Witch. Right, but the Brood Witch is a sandwich, so you can use it. At... So he basically uses the Brood Witch as an excuse to make his own lunch meat, to have an episode on making lunch meat. Like, so you learn something and you get to do a thing. Okay, I got to find a place to land. That's it, the guy. Was it Long Pig? What's that? Was it Long Pig? No. Oh. But he did, like, make homemade mortadella, which is. What is that? Mortadella is like a, like, you know, bologna, right? Imagine if, like, bologna was really good. Like, if it was made of, like, premium ingredients. I'm having a hard time imagining that. I, I, hey, man, I'll give you a slice, uh, get you a slice of mortadella sometime. Uh, it is pretty freaking great. Uh, so bologna would be fine if it wasn't for the thin layer of lard. You know, uh, it's just so <laughs> greasy. You're like, whoa, what is that? Mortadella is amazing. Okay. Uh, whoa, they're, this is where they keep all the... All the fetuses. This is where they keep the super meat boys. Cool. Uh, storeroom clerk. You the delivery driver. Why is your icon like a robot? Cloudpunk. Oh shit. You ask, yes, it's supposed to smell like that. Ew. Ew. Thanks. Is it mortadella? <laughs> is it bologna? I just say. It said, "Don't ask me." It's gabagool. Let's <laughs> get the gabagool. So um, are you interested in that uh, Sopranos prequel that's coming out? No. No? It looks pretty good. It's <laughs> only it's only a movie. Yeah. You know, but I'm like, I, 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 by the original I writers, directors, I'm yes, like, it looks pretty good. So here's the thing. I actually, like, stopped watching The Sopranos about three quarters of the way through the series because I just kind of got sick of it. I was Don't just kind of like, yeah. I mean, I've seen the, yeah, I've seen the, I've seen the end scene, right? But, uh I'm more of a The Wire kind of guy than a Sopranos kind of guy. I but. really enjoyed The Wire, but I always go, I'm more of The Shield type of guy than I am The Wire type of guy. I, I got about halfway through The Shield and stopped watching The Shield. What? So. Why? I don't know. It just got boring. It's, how? What? I was uh, bored. I fan, see, I found The Wire more boring <laughs> than The Shield by a sizable extent. I can see that. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I really like The Wire, but there are points you're like, okay, get on with it. Jesus. Yeah. There's like... Oh, uh, there's like a, a bunch of stuff in the wire that it, it starts to get ridiculous. Some of the seasons aren't that great. Like, I, I definitely, you know. I think it was the next to the last season was like, okay. Was that the but, the politics one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but the, I don't understand. You get bored by the shield. It was like Breaking Bad for me. I was like constantly on the edge of my seat. I, I think it might have been a thing where everybody kept talking about how good it was. And then when I watched it, I was like, this is good. You and should go like, back and give it another try. Yeah, eh, I don't got time for it. It's really time. one of the best shows I've ever I, I got I got all kinds of things that require the watching and the okay. play in. I got 35 hours worth of, or actually I've got like something like 65 hours worth of games from last year that I need to finish before uh, the end of January. <laughs> Good so, luck with that. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, don't worry, Chris, I handcuffed you to this couch, so we're going <laughs> to do it all tonight. Oh, no, I would never, I would never, I would never. Besides, I have to pay attention to those games. Um, uh, yeah, and I'm going to be all over here talking about the aesthetics of Blade. <laughs> man, uh, I cannot, I will never be able to believe that. Is this up or down? It looks up. Oh, it's up. up. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's definitely up. 
um, that Parker Posey was in Blade Three. That's fucking yeah, so. Blade strange. Three was a huge mistake. Like Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds, I kind of enjoyed in it, but even then, it was like you go back and watch it, you're like, this is not as good as it should be. It's not as funny funny as it should be. Like I, all the stuff is there to make that a great movie, and it's not a great movie. But Blade Two, a lot of people shit on Blade Two, which I'll never understand. Guillermo del Toro directed. Mm-hmm. I think Blade Two is fucking phenomenal. I like them all. I like all. Yeah, of them. As, as you've all. said, but like you you also are terrible at judging art. So. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I mean, you just said you didn't like the Shield. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, no. no. <laughs> I feel like I don't know why it's a thing, but like the older I get, the people are just like, I just can't figure you out. And I'm like, I know I'm a fucking enigma. Like, uh, uh, all you know, for the first time ever, literally wrapped in a burrito. You saw right now, he's got like sour cream all over himself. It's true, and tomatoes it's and good lettuce. for your skin. Instant yeah, uh, street rat. Has this been tampered with? No. What? No. Street rat. What is this, Aladdin? I think this guy did it. In the package. Oh. <laughs> The smell makes them curious. What is it just bacon? Is it just a cardboard yeah. box filled with cooked I'm, bacon? God, don't make me hungry. You just shove your face a into strange it. Strange question. Good day. Bye. We do our delivery. Okay. The butler looks like Abraham. vehicle upgrade. Lego Abraham Lincoln unlocked. Red tracer. Okay. Job okay. complete. One hundred dollars. Hey, congratulations. Hey, look at that. Ugh. Wait, did you not j- complete your other jobs? No, I think I did that too, but I just, I don't so know if do I was looking at the... So do you do with the, money? Well, there's a guy over here that has the word merchant over his head, so either it's Stephen Merchant or I can buy stuff from <laughs> I him. I hope it's Stephen Merchant. It's not Stephen Merchant. It's not Stephen Merchant. Steve merchant. Yeah. Water? Um, wait, what? No, did I didn't... Did you buy water? I don't know. Why is it doing that? Um, why are you doing that game? Thanks. You did. You bought water. To seeing you again. Did I... Okay. I would have rather had the hoodie, but I really don't like the characters. Uh, they look like everything looks relatively like n- most of the, the stuff doesn't have the same level of stylization that these like n- yeah. little noodly noodle arms have. No, the characters so. are, are much more primitive than the the, the uh, locations are. Now, you've never been Wait, like Corpsec. We just paid to wipe your record, so we need them to hold a clean. Why are we not getting a little text? Yeah, the bottom. Not unless you've broken any other laws. Sending you a nav point now. Uh, oh. One more thing, I've, like, turned off the HUD somehow. Suspicious. There. there you go. Okay. Or act suspicious. And don't mention cloud punk. Or me. <laughs> or, or that meat you had earlier. Um, if cloud punk was a musical genre, what would it be? Uh, that's a good question. It would be, like, like uh... Vroom vroom, um, like really ambient. Yeah, like like punk, like maybe like super airy instruments, but then a lot of like hardcore yelling and screaming and yeah. like yeah, like the uh, instruments are all like 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 Brian Eno meets No Effects. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. God. <laughs> I, I can't picture how that would work at all, but I mean, I can't even begin to picture how those things would fuse, but yeah. I'm anxious to see someone oh, try. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, hey guys, I was just trying to stop. You can make me go forward. What, what is happening? I'm right? trying to land. Remind me never to let you drive my car, even if I'm drunk. Oh, don't worry. I won't offer. I don't like driving anymore. Bullshit. Well, we don't need to these days. Everything's done from home. That's yeah, so. true. Well, Somebody oh, almost the bar, cha- Jeff. Somebody almost changed. Ooh, the V space going in there. They're very different. And people. bar, and low club. Girls, girls, girls. Can you go in there? Go in the low club. Ah, uh, you can't go in the low club. As I would love to see Lego strip club. Okay, so corpsec. Is this a? What's corpsec? Let's see either your citizen license or your voluntary contribution. What? I wish you people would just call them bribes. <laughs> what's that? <laughs> Nothing, officer. Here's my details. The Give deets. the deets. I just have to create a new record for you and then... Julia! Julia Navago, get out of here! <laughs> That's very weirdly specific. No, sir. Her name is Rania. Cloud Punk? I don't so I guess the idea is a lot of side yeah. missions in this uh, game that we're just not pursuing. Yes, I don't... People like Julia wandering around. Are you now or have you at any time been a part of the illicit delivery service? Oh. Known as uh, no, of course not. Never heard of I don't know what you're talking about. Please. Yes, sir. Is Rania, is your character a Muslim? I don't, I maybe? She kind of got the whole head wrap thing. Yeah. I, mean, I don't, that's fine, but. 
Yes. It is definitely a choice. Okay, then. <laughs> I'll do that. Julia is like, hey, you want to talk to me? You want to talk to me? You want to talk to me? Your details have been updated. When I scanned your ID, our what? said you're a musician from the Eastern Peninsula. Okay. Want to play us some music? Yes, Maybe because I'm just, uh This yeah. is like when comedians get told in, like, when they're hanging out at a bar, hey, tell a joke. Yeah. No. Wait, where do I go? return to your vehicle? Oh, they, okay, whatever I was supposed to do with Corpse Sec, I guess I did it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, it seems like it's going to be one of those, like, Hey man, you just you don't have to do anything. You this just is more one of go these wherever you want to. Figure out what just... the narrative is, game. Well, but okay, something's going on, right? Because of her whole thing and yeah, Cloud Punk and Corpse Sack. It's, like yeah. it's slowly going to let you into the narrative. Yeah, exactly. Um, Camus. Yeah, right? Come on. Get it right, game. Yeah. How are you going to be. Don't be a stranger. Camus, <laughs> <laughs> It's you. Ah, it's a dog. Oh, puppy. It's an AI dog. I love it. What am I? Feels Wait, do we like make our dead dog into an AI? I like it. Automata slot. Oh. Sorry, Camus. This is all I Dude, I want to work for Thorax. I was a bad dog. No, you were the best, Camus. Wow. I'm just a hova now. Not as good. Weird, <laughs> weird idea. Like, can you can you imagine taking a, a, a former pet of yours and trying to simulate their personality as your like regular AI? I'd find that very disturbing. I I kind of think my dog would make a good co-pilot for my car. I think he would, I can't do any worse than you normally do. I think I think he would love it. I think he would love being part of being in my car and getting to go like fifty miles an hour. He'd just be like, ah, oh, yeah. Here's that dog. Do, 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 yeah. Drive another. Oh, a squirrel. <laughs> right. Well, no, I don't. I, I think he's just like AI, though. So good though. I am sleepy now. Yeah. yeah. The slot in the Hova car. It's pretty limited. It's pretty the sleepy. It's got a little pillow. Level, so you might need to take it easy for Aww. a while. Aww. No, what a cute I AI. <laughs> Your higher operating functions are multi-threaded. Now she's talking like she's an AI. Yeah. Uh, it's like. Look, lady, I'm a fucking AI dog, so... It is weird that the images of them are not pixelated, but yeah. the characters are. Yeah. It, it, it makes for, like, a like I really wish that they would have maybe had less detail, but, like, tried to hew closer to, like, what they did yeah. there. Yeah. So what am I doing now? I don't have, like, a waypoint or anything. There's a bunch of arrows on your map. What are those? <laughs> it's like... Okay. Oh, here comes Control. Control! Crackle over oh, radio. Great. You got a lousy connection. Hey, that's that's us. To, damn it. Sorry. We need you to pick up a package from Cambria Heights. Of course you do. This is like being twenty something okay, again, just picking way. up pizzas. Jesus Wait. Christ. Or like Except I, in the future. Is there a problem? No, never mind. Uh, when I was when I was younger, when I was a teenager, I was the first person to get like my license and a car, and so I was that guy that just took everybody everywhere. And like my sophomore year, because nobody else had a license, they were like, "Hey, will you take us to the park at lunch so we can get high?" And I'd be like, "Yeah, that'll make you like me, right?" And they were like, "Yeah, okay, sure, whatever." Did they man. like you? No. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Did I, you get high with them? No. Well, that was what. That's what went wrong. Well, yeah. that time was uh, they went to smoke opium. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't like. I remember that one in time high school. Yeah, where some of the, some of my friends in high school got their hands on some opium and decided to go smoke it at lunch, and then the one guy came back and he was like, "Dude, I am too high to be in school," and yeah, just walked away. <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, that sounds uh, that that sounds legit. That sounds about right." Um, fucking smoking opium, you seventeen year old wack wackadoo. But that was the guy. That uh, were uh, we took acid one night. And he just like uh, took off all his clothes and ran off into the night. As and you the do. cops found him the next morning, naked in the school parking lot, screaming that he was God at the top of his lungs and arrested him. Are so, you sure he wasn't? Uh, no, not really. But um, that dude had problems. He had some problems. So everyone knows a lot of the you know the cliched often like <laughs> apocryphal acid stories. Yeah. You know, like a guy thought he was a bird and he thought he could fly, jumped off a roof, as Bill Hicks said. Hey, birds stick off from the ground, dumbass. Yeah. I think you were just too stupid to live. It didn't have anything to do with the, the acid. But 
So we worked at a restaurant once, and there was a guy who like was like, yeah, man, if y'all can get some acid, that'd be great. I want to do acid with you. So we're like, okay, sure, here's some acid. And he turned out to be like, like the generic cliche of guy who shouldn't take acid. Uh-huh. Who showed up for work three hours late the next day. <laughs> yep. Aluminum foil wrapped around his head. Oh, geez. Saying, I've got to keep out those Russian satellites from beaming the signals into my head. And I was like, you're... You, it's right there. You're like a okay, character from I a Philip it. K. Dick I novel. The uh, what, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I have bad feelings. Look, I read about you in Vallis. Oh, oh, this is this seems like a bad idea. Like they, they, there was all that shadiness, right? And they sent us here, and then there's like nobody to meet us. And the AI is like, there, there's that box over there. That's probably the box that you were supposed to get. Well, you should get back in your car. And uh, yeah, I don't feel like this is gonna go well. I feel like this is going to like go this poorly. Is the, the, the moment the plot is going yeah. to turn. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, how will it turn, Jeff? That's a good question. Or will it at all? You made it back to your car, so. I hear noise. Uh oh. Squirrel! Oh no! From the package. It's a bomb! Or it's I a really expensive watch. One second, Camus. Control, come in. Control, was I supposed to pick Control, up a bomb? This is driver 14 FC. Come in. This is important. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Please deliver your current package with urgency. Oh, <laughs> oh good lord. Package ticking? She's being tied into a terrorist action. She have to do this. Uh-oh. Control, what's happening there? Uh, nothing. So the green uh, sideways square is on your map. The diamond? Yeah, that's the direction. Yeah, that's my objective. I don't know why I said green sideways square. It's. I am nervous because you are nervous. Maybe we can throw away the TikTok. I I like the AI dog. Yeah. I I really like the AI dog. Put at the trash chute in section eight B. I wish it was a cat, but still. Into the refuse collection at the base of the city. Nothing ever comes back. Oh my god. There. But well, if it explodes, is it gonna like yes. take out a building? I get a bad feeling too, Camus. Oh. Oh, so we have I want to help, but Okay, you Chris, what do we do? You what do we choice. do? Deliver it to Metro Hub. Yes, I, I wanna Metro see something blow up. Yeah. I mean, okay. I don't mean in real life, let me be very clear. I mean in this <laughs> game. I would like to see what happens if you accidentally not accidentally in this case, well, but if you blow up a large public building. No, that, that 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 that's interesting because that shows us like another potential um like like way that you can influence the game, right? As if they give you choices of of things to do. Uh, like, Which yeah. probably end up like dovetailing back into the same story thread somehow, but right. You know. But if you can, yeah, I mean, if there's like a branching storyline, you can affect. Still, I want to see a bunch of bricks flying everywhere. Little little, uh, little squares, little voxels, all blowed up. Yes. Uh, yes, Jeff. That would bring me pleasure. I, there's a PlayStation Three game that if I had it, I would show it to you, and you would be enthralled. Called Three D Dot Game Heroes. Does it involve a lot of Lego Out shit blowing up? Yeah. Uh, pretty much. It's actually a From Software game, but imagine if... Um, am I delivering? Where's the fucking parking? It's oh, right there. Okay, I gotta go over here. Uh, I can't No, there's one right below you. No, I couldn't. That one was occupado. Dude, I love that giant circle thing over there. That's uh, cool. All right, let's deliver this package. Um, it's like Zelda, but everything's made out of blocks, and so like when you when you destroy them, they like crumble into little blocky blocks. Oh, oh it's even inc- smaller blocks. Incredibly difficult to get. It's very rare. Yes, it was nothing. We did our job, Cass. Yep, don't have to worry about it. No responsibility. Questions. I am not sure. You want to say something? If it is You might okay. want to run back to your car. Sure. Yeah, I'm going to go back to my car. <laughs> is this a job good? It pays good. <laughs> Are we doing good things? No more questions, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is that it? Is it going to blow up? I Come don't on. Know. Don't you blow up off camera. I swear to fucking God. Keeping it in front of me. Control? Nothing? Or do I just have to, like, drive away from it, and then it's going to show us? That's it? I don't know. That might be it. Okay. Well, that was a lot of much ado about nothing. Wee! Driver 14 FC, this Whoa. is control. Is there anything you want to tell me about that last job? Yeah, I think you know everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just glad it went okay. 
for your next delivery. Okay. Oh, wow, so we just moved to the next thing. Huh? All right. Uh, well, I guess that's uh, that's that's our time. Oh, okay. That's our time with Cloudpunk. So we blew up this game. Yeah. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Hit the like subscribe button. Uh, let us know what you think of Cloudpunk down in the comments. I'd actually be interested if there's anybody who's played it like quite a bit further. Yeah. To where does tell this us kind of like where does it go? Yeah, I want because to know that too. This is one of those games where like I kind of want a little bit of spoilerish to it because it it's one of those you know whenever there's a slow game, Chris, I'm always just like. Okay, well, if it's worth it in 12 hours, that's one thing. But if it's not worth it, then I don't want to fucking waste my time. He's like, I'm bored at this second. Well, what's going on with the shield? Well, <laughs> true. Um, yeah, anyway, patreon.com forward slash rage. Like, tops out. Kick us some bucks in return. You get bonus videos. Also, if you give us $5 a month, you get access to the uh, uh, Discord server. Well, you want that. It's you, fun. Yeah, you can yeah. hang out with all the, all the groovy tunes, all the groovy rage select people. And, um, yeah, also you get bonus videos. You got full playthroughs. Michael and I are playing all the way through Spider-Man Miles Morales right now. How's that? Uh, very good. I mean, it's excellent. It's as good as the previous Spider-Man. So you're going to uh, want to watch that. What's that? And so you're going to want to watch that. Yeah. And the only way you can do that is by becoming a Patreon subscriber. That's true. Mm -hmm. All that is true. There's Julia again. Julia Navarro. She's just hanging around this place. Like, are you going to talk to me or what? Uh, I keep going, hi, I'm Julia Navarro. And you're like, whatever. Uh, Chris, where can people find you on the internet? Uh, well, I'm at julianavarro.com. <laughs> Navago. Uh, Navago, sorry. Uh, no, I'm at oneofus.net. We review movies and television shows. Very up to date for streaming stuff. Oh. Stuff coming out in theaters again eventually someday. Uh, we try to be very up to date. There's lots of subscriber-based content on there as on a, a, a top of all the free stuff. And I mean lots. So we've yeah. got mega amounts. And here's the deal. Jeff and I, we can't do what we do without you guys committing to becoming a subscriber or a oh. Patreon sub uh, person. You, you got to do this stuff or there is no free content. That's true. This is how this stuff happens. So if you're enjoying our free content, please just, I mean, come on. What is it like? $5, $10, something like that. Like, oh, that's not a huge deal. Throw us some, throw some bucks. Yeah. And we can keep putting out this content. And it makes us feel like somebody out there cares yeah it, it's really tied to my sense of of self-validation and my self-esteem so. i mean it sounds like he's joking but he's not i've <laughs> seen him wrap up in a fetal <laughs> position and cry it's it, it happens sometimes yeah. anyway we'll see you tomorrow with another brand new video thanks everybody for watching bye